So I get asked all the time, aren't you afraid you can see ghosts? Don't, doesn't seeing ghosts scare you? The answer to that question is, aren't you afraid you can't see ghosts? I mean, if I got a critter coming at me, a predator, somebody maybe wants to do me harm, I'd like to see where it's coming from. Just saying. You know, if a spirit does show up, you know, on your end of your bed, that normally happens, you know, that three o'clock in the morning, ah, it's Uncle Fred, he's dead, but he's come to visit me kind of a thing. Don't run, don't panic. Uncle Fred or any other spirit, if they really wanted to hurt you, they wouldn't have to wake you up to do so. There are four stages for spirits to manifest. It takes a lot of juice. It takes a lot of energy. You gotta imagine to come from the spirit world so that you can be seen takes a lot of juice from the spirit's perspective. And they may only have a little tiny bit of juice to work with in the first place. Like if they were weak or sickly when they passed away. So if they only have a little tiny bit of energy and they waste it coming to see you and you freak out and go running the other way, wouldn't that make you feel bad? That might be the only chance. You might be the only person that that person feels comfortable enough, feels comfort enough, feels energetic enough, connected in any way, shape, or form, or maybe even feels confident that you might be able to communicate or might be able to pass on a message of some form. It's actually kind of a responsibility. Social work for the afterlife, if you want to call it that. But the bottom line is this. When a spirit comes to visit you and you can see it floating around or standing there all, you know, pretty inspector-like, don't freak out. It doesn't serve you. Have a conversation. See what's going on. Who knows? You might make a friend.